if anybody ever showed the sort of heart that identifies a champion, Andy North showed it today. You're one of only 21 men to win the U.S. Open multiple times. Only won one other PGA Tour event aside from the U.S. Open. What, what was it about the U.S. Open that brought out some of your best golf in your career? I think, I think uh, these were hard golf courses. Uh, I really, from a mentality, I liked the golf courses that were hard. I liked where par was a good score. I liked the fact that you walk in the locker room and everybody's complaining about how difficult the golf course was. I love that, you know, that you knew you had half of those guys beat before you even started. I like the idea of USJ golf, where it was important to try to get your ball in the fairway and put it on the green and make pars. And I was pretty good at making pars. And I thought I had a chance to win from the first day I played in one. Well, Andy, you grew up in Monona, Wisconsin. What was the appeal for you? How did you get into playing golf in an area of the country that's such a hotbed for, for hockey, for basketball, for football, yet you went a different path? Well, it was totally by accident. When I was in seventh grade, I had this bone disease. I had to spend two years on crutches, non-weight bearing for two years, while hopefully this area healed. I, I took a list of every sport I could find. I went to the World Book, which is our Google of, of you know, 1960s and had a list of like 35 sports. And the doctor was not a golfer and he went through this, this list and he said, well, yeah, if you, if you ride a cart and you use your crutches and you still stay non-weight bearing, I'll let you try golf. So that's how I got involved and I threw myself into it and you know, that's how I got started. States produced a handful of great champions. Yourself, Steve Stricker, Johnny Revolta, Jerry Kelly, uh, Mark Wilson all had success. Is there a, a single trait, a single characteristic that, that you, know, you guys share? One, we all learned to play golf under conditions that weren't beautiful. You look at a lot of great players, Nicholas, Palmer, Watson, they grew up in the Midwest or grew up in areas where if it was 45 degrees and the sun was out there, out hitting balls. You, know, you see pictures of Nicholas uh, as a kid or as a young player on tour hitting balls with his teacher with snow on the ground. Well, we all did that. First time the U.S. Open comes to Wisconsin. Aaron Hills this year, a championship you won twice. How much pride do you take in seeing this championship come to your home state? It's fantastic. Uh, to get a U.S. Open here is really special. And I think this, the course setup could be a, a big difference. If, you know, generally when they set the course up in the morning, you look at the conditions that are for that day. If it looks like you're going to have winds off the lake at 20 miles an hour, you set the golf course up a certain way. Well, if at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it switches and it starts coming out of the west, the holes you thought were going to play hard might play easy because of the wind conditions, and you might have some holes that you can't play very well because you've made them too long as the wind changes. So that's going to be a big part of it. Describe to someone what it means to be a, a golfer from Wisconsin. If you work hard enough and you care about something, you've got a chance to have some success at it. And you know, you can look at it, well, the reason, you know, the weather is a big problem here. Or you can look at it the other way is that I enjoyed getting away from golf with basketball or, or time off or whatever. It helped me, I think, to become a better player because when I was engaged, I was totally engaged. And I think that helped me be a better player.